Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Some Jit. Today I'm going to cook spicy braised chicken feet with shiitake mushroom. Chicken feet may not be for everyone, but for those who appreciate it, it's really nice to eat. I have about 700 grams of ready fried chicken feet. This type of ready fried chicken feet you can get it from the market. About 8 pieces of shiitake mushroom pre-cooked. You need to soak it in the water until it becomes soft. 2 inches nap of ginger, about 6 pieces of dry chili soaked in the water, some spring onion for garnishing, 4 cloves of garlic chopped, 1 tablespoon of salted black bean paste, 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of shaoxing wine or cooking rice wine, quarter teaspoon of sesame seed oil, quarter teaspoon of pepper, and 1 tablespoon of tapioca flour. I'll be using water as well. To cook the braised chicken feet is pretty simple. So I like to start off with mixing all the sauce first. So I'm going to put in about quarter cup of water here. And then we're going to put everything here in the water. Mix it. Pepper. Sesame seed oil. Light soy sauce. Saoxing wine. Salted black bean paste. And the oyster sauce. And I'm going to mix it. Alright, the sauce is done. And now we can go and cook it. Heat the pan and I'm going to put in 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. Oil is getting hot and I'm putting in the garlic. And we're going to fry the garlic until nice fragrant. We don't need to fry it until brown, just for the fragrant to release. Now I'm putting in the ginger. Put in the chili. Put in the chicken feet and the mushroom. Pour in the sauce. And I'm going to put in the water. Putting in a lot of water because we want to braise and let it cook for 2 hours. From time to time, you need to come back and check. If the water is dry, you can add on the water. But we need to braise it for 2 hours to make sure that the chicken feet is soft and tender until the skin want to fall off from the bones. 2 more minutes to go. Ooh. This chicken feet has been cooked for 2 hours. You see, the chicken feet is so soft, the skin almost fall off the bones. And from time to time, I've come and checked to make sure that it doesn't burn at the bottom. And I have also added some water because um, it cooked pretty long, right? Two hours. So, um, it's almost done. Now I can give it a taste. Wow, it's perfect. Alright, time's up also. For the taste, it is okay. For the chicken feet, right, it's very, very soft. So it is done and I'm going to switch on the heat, continue to cook for a bit because um, we're going to make the gravy a bit thicker and I have added 1 teaspoon of tapioca flour and 2 tablespoons of um, water. So we're going to just stir in the flour mix. Mm -hmm. 
All right, it's done. Now I'm going to switch off the heat and we can serve it right away or if you can keep it for about a couple of hours, it will be better. Let's try. See, it is very soft. Look at that. The skin can really come off from the bones. Mmm. Tasty. It's enough taste, enough flavor. The chicken feet is very soft. The skin really fall off the bones and it has a little spicy taste and very nice fragrance of the ginger, the cooking rice wine as well as the chitake mushroom. Overall combinations of all this, really nice. Lovely. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends and remember to subscribe for more of my variety cooking like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.